Hello children. The topic we are going to study in this video is annihilation. This is also an important topic. The questions based on this concept have been asked in many competitive exams several times. So the definition goes like this. Some rings infused systems give up part of their aromaticity to adjacent rings. This phenomenon is called as annihilation. You will understand the concept, understand the definition after seeing the example. Fused systems. Okay, this uh, effect is operating in fused aromatic compounds. A few fused aromatic systems. What is fused aromatic system? Look at this. Here are some fused aromatic compounds. They are fused because more than two rings. Two or more than two rings are fused together. Here there are two rings are fused. Three rings are fused. Again here four rings are fused. Here two rings are fused. So they are all fused aromatic compounds. All are aromatic compounds. Okay. Fused aromatic compounds. And here I have to say one point. These compounds okay, are known as benzenoid aromatic compounds. Benzenoid. Benzenoid aromatic systems. Because everywhere six membered rings are fused together. Okay. Benzene rings are fused together. They are resembling benzene rings. So they are benzenoid aromatic compounds. But this one you see, there is a seven membered and there is a six membered ring suffused together. So there is no six membered ring here. So this is called non-benzenoid aromatic system. Non-benzenoid non-benzenoid aromatic system. Azulene is non-benzenoid ring and there are many other non-benzenoid rings you can see. Cyclo uh, Propenyl cation, cyclopentadienyl anion, heptatrienyl, okay, cycloheptatrienyl, tropelium cation, and azulines, except 6 anuline, uh, not azuline, anuline, okay, except 6 anuline, 6 anuline is nothing but benzene, so except benzene, all the anulines that we had studied in the previous videos are the examples of non-benzenoid aromatic systems. Okay. Anyway, in this topic for annihilation, we are not concerned with these compounds. We are concerned with only fused aromatic systems. Okay. So this annihilation is observed in a few cyclic, uh, in a few fused aromatic systems. Take for example this one, triphenylene. Okay, triphenylene, you can write these many canonical forms, resonance structures. Carefully look at these resonance structures. Look at the middle one. How many pi bonds? Three pi bonds. Okay, that means six pi electrons, a sextet of pi electrons. It is exactly the benzene ring. But look at this one only two pi bonds. So this is more like butadiene. This is another butadiene. And here there is one more butadiene. Only the middle ring is benzene ring. Sextet of electrons. Others are butadiene. And look at this. Only this ring is benzene. And here only the center ring is benzene. Here this one, this one, this one. Three benzene rings. And look at this one, one, two, two rings are benzene. Here one, two, two rings. Here one, two, two rings. But if we come here, one, two, three, three benzene rings. Okay. So these two structures, these two canonical forms are very special because three benzene rings are the total four rings. Out of four, three rings are benzene rings. Here also three rings are benzene rings. 
But look at the middle ring, center one, how many pi electrons? Nothing. It is empty. The middle ring is empty. Here, here also it is empty. What happened? Where did those pi electrons of the middle rings go? What happened? Actually, the middle ring has donated, has sacrificed its pi electrons to the adjacent rings. What is the purpose? What is the outcome? The outcome is we got three benzene rings. In order to get three benzene rings, the middle ring has sacrificed its pi electrons. It sacrificed its aromaticity. Okay? The outcome is overall the molecule will be stabilized because we got three rings with sextet of electrons. Okay? This property, donating the aromaticity or a part of its aromaticity to the adjacent ring is called annihilation. Now look at the definition. Some rings in fuse systems give up a part of their aromaticity to the adjacent rings. This phenomenon is called annihilation. So the aromaticity of the middle ring is donated to the adjacent rings so that we could get three, three benzene rings. Okay. Now let us see a problem involved the annihilation. Okay. Arrange the following compounds in the increasing order of their pKa values. pKa values means what is the purpose? It represents the acid strength. Lower the pKa, stronger the acid and greater the pKa, higher the pKa, weaker is the acid. Okay. So increasing order of pKa. Increasing order of pKa means decreasing order of acid strength. Isn't it? Okay. How to do that? In order to find out the acid strength, we have to see its conjugate base. If the conjugate base is stabilized, then the acid is, the corresponding acid is a good acid because it will comfortably donate the proton because the resulting conjugate base is stabilized. Okay. If the conjugate base is stable, the corresponding acid is a good acid, a strong acid. Okay. So here we have to see the conjugate bases and see which one is stable. The corresponding acid is going to be a strong acid. Okay. So conjugate base. What is conjugate base? Let us look at this. See for example, um, let me take acetic acid. You get acetate ion plus H plus. After losing the proton, we get the acetate ion. So this is the acid. Okay, acetic acid is the acid. This one is acid. This one is the acid and this one is a conjugate base. Okay. So likewise here, let us write the conjugate bases. The conjugate base of cyclopentadiene is this. Cyclopentadienyl anion. And here the conjugate base is the conjugate base is indenyl anion. Okay, this molecule is indene. This one is fluorine. This one is again cyclopentadiene. Since there is a trifluoromethyl substitution, pentac is trifluoromethyl cyclopentadiene. Okay, so here the conjugate base for fluorine, the conjugate base is And again here the conjugate basis CF3 CF3 
here the conjugate base is this and here the conjugate base is this okay now we got the conjugate basis of the corresponding four acids we have to find out which one is stable the stablest conjugate base means the corresponding acid is going to be a strong acid okay so let us find out the strongest and weakest conjugate bases look at them this is cyclopentadienyl anion it is aromatic we know this is aromatic and this one 1 2 3 4 5 five pairs of electrons five is odd number aromatic here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven pairs this is also aromatic here again cyclopentadiene only this is also aromatic okay all are aromatic so now the question is which one is more aromatic if it is more aromatic the corresponding acid is strong acid okay let us see these three first okay these three first let us see let me assume that this is 1 uh, this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 okay look at them here cyclopentadienyl anion okay and let us see this one this is supposed to be written like this this molecule is supposed to be written like this and this molecule could have been written like this this is i can write this one this way but actually what happens this pi electron is donated to this ring and that is why i am getting this one and here this pi electron is donated here and this pi electron is donated here so that i get two benzene rings here here i get one full benzene ring here in order to get benzene rings in order to ensure sextet of electrons in the adjacent ring the cyclopentadienyl anion donates sacrifices one of its bond to the adjacent ring here two of its bonds okay one bond to this ring other bond to this ring so two times it is lost okay so here annihilation this effect is annihilation it is donating part of its aromaticity to the adjacent ring here it donating part of its aromaticity to the adjacent ring okay so here two times annihilation is more here here it is lesser so as a result the aromaticity of the pentadienyl anion decreases here it is since annihilation is more so it is even more decreases so if i look at the aromaticity of the conjugate bases aromaticity of the conjugate bases of acid 1 acid 2 acid 3 the aromaticity of the bases decreases like that okay one is more because no annihilation here annihilation here annihilation two times so aromaticity decreases like that since this is aromaticity aromaticity let me write like this aromaticity aromaticity decreases like that aromaticity decreases like that means the one that is more aromatic means the conjugate acid is a strong acid so aromaticity decreases means acidity also decreases acidity also decreases this way okay this is more aromatic so the conjugate acid is more acidic this is next this is next okay if that is a case pka acidity decreases like that so pka pka increases okay pka pka increases that means 1 is smaller than 2 is smaller than 3 pka increases this way because we have to answer in the increasing order of pka so pka increases like that and look at the fourth one this is also cyclopentadienyl anion so negative charge is stabilized by aromaticity here also it is stabilized by aromaticity here also it is aromaticity here in addition to aromaticity there are electron withdrawing groups trifluoromethyl groups 
five trifluoromethyl groups. Trifluoromethyl is an electron withdrawing group. It withdraws electron inductively minus I effect. Inductive electron withdrawing group. Okay, minus I effect. So in addition to aromatic stabilization, minus I effect also operating to stabilize this anion, this conjugate base. So this should be certainly more acidic than unsubstituted cyclopentadiene. So 4, the conjugate base 4 is more aromatic. So the corresponding acid is more acid. So if that is the case, it should be pKa of 4 should be the least one. Okay. 4 is the strongest acid, so pKa should be the least one. Okay. 3 is the weakest acid, pKa should be the higher one. Okay. So this is the answer for the question of arranging the acids in the increasing order of pKa or decreasing order of acid strength. I hope you have understood. We will meet in the next video. Wish you all the best and thank you very much.